thought we played hard. I thought we played well at times. I thought, uh, you know, there was times where there was inconsistencies, I think, just from us trying different personnel and trying to see what's going to work for us. But um, all in all, I was very happy with the overall effort. Um, I was very happy for uh, our kicker, um, Eric. You know, he had another chance to go out and, um, you know, make that field goal. And uh, I'm sure that was like a, getting a the monkey off his back. So I was very happy for him. And, and we also found some... Uh, uh, a young running back, I think, and, and Chris Cropper. So, a um, lot of positive things. We just got to keep building, keep ironing things out. But all in all, I was very happy with our effort. Yeah, you know, as soon as I just misjudged the ball, um, got a bad read on it, let it drop. Uh, as soon as it hit the ground, my first reaction was just dive on it. But um, I saw in my peripheral vision that no one was around the ball, and I said, let's scoop it, see what we can get. And my block set it up beautifully for me, all the credit to them. And I just, I just ran, they did the hard work, and I got in the end zone. I was very happy with the protection day. Um, they were a big blitz team, and uh, I, I thought we picked it up very well. So uh, we gave the quarterback enough time to throw in the pocket. Uh, we just got to make some. There's some throws that we got to make, and we got to make some catches. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think the offensive line is our most important unit, and I think they're, they're our, our best unit on the football team. Um, I love those guys. They uh, they really get in. They really work hard. They do a lot of extra work. I mean, we have tremendous senior or senior leadership on the offensive line. I mean, I trust them with all my life and uh, I was real proud of them last week, today, every day in practice. I, I think Bears is, is learning and he's learning how to adjust on the fly which is, is going to be big for us through the whole season. I mean, people are going to give us so many different looks because of our personnel and what we do So, and he's been able to keep us on task, uh, he's been able to check us out of bad plays uh, and, and just you know dink and dunk that ball and try to set up for the big plays and I think uh, his leadership has been tremendous. Um, but we just got to keep, uh, uh, you know, keep them positive yards coming. We got to get away from these penalties and these negative yards right now. So we got to clean that up. But I think his uh, his leadership is really coming through right now. Describe the pass to Terrell Johnson. Put it in your words. What went down on that play? Yeah, I saw it was man coverage, and um, you know the the number twenty six who was on him, he was backpedaling and he turned flipped his head or hips the wrong way. So I just thought, you know, why not? I mean, he's, he's I mean he's six seven. And you know the the DB was like five eight. So. Yeah, we have great leaders in front of us. When I was a freshman, it was uh, Lorenzo and Delando. Lorenzo helped me out so much just as a freshman. And for Jaron, you had people like Jalen Wells, Malik Duncan, all all those players I just named. They know football inside and out. They know this defense inside and out. So when you got someone in front of you like that, it makes the game so much more easier. And our coaches do a great job of coaching up uh, the defense, making sure we know what we're doing at all times. And uh, I say it. I say it every year. Any one of our DBs could start. I mean, we're all that talented. We all got that athletic ability. It's just, uh, unfortunately, we can't play us all, but we're all ready to go if we need to be.